So in order for you to successfully pay off the debt, it's not just about putting numbers into a spreadsheet. You have to change your habits. You have to change the way that you're thinking. Same thing when it comes to weight loss, right? You are going to come up against not the spending triggers, but you're going to come up against the eating triggers. And so you've got to learn how to utilize these new tools to develop a new mindset of how to overcome these eating obstacles. Now, Dave has his seven steps to financial freedom. I got two. (laughs) I got two steps for you to get to your forever weight. You're listening to the Stop Dieting Forever podcast, episode 201. What if it were possible to achieve your goal weight and stay there permanently without dieting? Welcome to the Stop Dieting Forever podcast, where you will discover the key components that most diets won't tell you because they want you to keep coming back. Not here. This is your last stop on the weight loss struggle bus. I am your host, Jennifer Dent Brown, life and weight loss coach, and I am going to show you how to stop dieting forever. Let's jump into today's episode. Hey, Lux Lifer, welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. Today, I want to talk to you and I want to explain how you can lose 30 pounds in six months without a diet. Let me just add that on without a diet and without the drama. So this is the reason why I wanted to do this podcast. I'm always thinking about ways I can explain my weight loss process because it's not a diet. And if you've only been able to lose weight while doing a diet, it's really hard to comprehend how it's even possible to lose weight without a diet. So I've been thinking about different ways to just explain it. So keep it simple, right? Break it down, keep it simple. And I like to look to other things that are simply explained that people get very easily. So when I think of a simple process that's very popular, what pops into my head? I think of Dave Ramsey. (laughs) Dave Ramsey and the seven baby steps to get out of debt and to experience financial freedom. Now, the reason why Dave Ramsey pops into my head is because I don't know if y'all know this, but I actually taught Financial Peace University at my church a couple of years ago. And I actually took over 200 students through my classes. And I mean, I was a student myself, so I was going through the process and that's how I was able to pay off over $200,000 in debt in less than two years. It was actually $236,000 in debt in less than two years. And I paid $13,000 to purchase my car at the time. So that was then, this is now. I actually have a much better get out of debt strategy if you were to ask me now. But at the time, Financial Peace University was exactly what I needed. And it was very effective. Now, This is not a get out of debt podcast, right? It's a get you to your goal weight podcast. But I was thinking about his process, right? The baby steps, the seven baby steps. His first baby step is to save $1,000. That's it, $1,000. And to someone who has a lot of debt, owes a lot of money, saving $1,000 seems like, oh, can I really do that? And so the whole lesson about saving $1,000, he gives you all these different ideas of how you can create the cash, how you can save this $1,000 and the motivation to actually do it. And once you have that cash in the bank, right? Once you cross that line, you have the cash in the bank, you create a sense of safety, right? You go from having little to no savings in your bank to having four figures in the bank account. $1,000 and it's a confidence boost. And you know that that $1,000 is gonna stay there because it is not to be used for anything else. It is like, oh, I can actually do this. So the first baby step when I think about my process, the Stop Dieting Forever process is to lose 10 pounds without a diet. It really is easier than you think because I teach you strategies that will literally change your entire relationship with food. 
And once you're able to put those strategies into practice, you will see how easy it is to eat less resulting in weight loss without you having to count macros, portion out your food, count your calories, right? None of that. This is why I can say it's possible for you to lose your first 10 pounds in 30 days without a diet. And once you lose that first 10, you create your own confidence. You're like, oh, did I just lose 10 pounds? Like, dang, that was easy. One of my clients talked about that part of the process. She's like, it's like voodoo magic. She's like, it just happens. <laughs> you follow the process, you write in the planner, and the next thing you know, you've lost 10 pounds. What happens in that 30 days is sometimes it takes clients a little bit longer. It might take you 45 days. It doesn't matter how long it takes. The fact is that you're going to lose 10 pounds without a diet. And when you're able to do that, your belief in yourself has been revived, especially, and this is so important, especially if you have been trying all of the diets and you have not been successful, when you're actually able to look down at the scale and be like, whoa, dang, I lost 10 pounds and it wasn't that difficult and it was actually kind of easy right? You truly believe that you can actually do this and you can keep going. Excuse me, Lux Lifer. I just want to interrupt this podcast with an important announcement, and you are not going to want to miss this. In two weeks, me and nine of my girlfriends are going on a girl's trip to Vegas to celebrate our 50th birthdays. And we have been planning this trip for months. We even have a theme. The theme is called Renaissance. Thank you, Beyonce. <laughs> and we're even doing a photo shoot to commemorate this moment. And we have also been working on that summer body because it's the first big trip of the summer season. Now you're like, okay, Jennifer, what's the announcement? What does this have to do with me? Well, I figure my friends aren't the only ones who want to shed that winter weight in time for warmer weather. This is why I am hosting a free training on Wednesday, April 24th. It's called Three Things You Can Do to Lose 10 or More Pounds by Summer. And you get a special invitation. Yep, you just need to go to jenniferdent.com forward slash free training to RSVP. Now, if you didn't already know, I love to teach and this is actually one of my favorite times of year to show you how you can lose weight without a diet and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. I feel like the warmer weather is always <laughs> a good motivation for you to want to lose some weight. I'm not going to tell you that you need to work out twice a day. I'm not going to tell you that you need to go buy some special equipment or take a handful of supplements or drink a green juice every day for 14 days. Ain't nobody got time to be doing all that. What I am going to tell you are three of my easiest eating strategies that will change your entire relationship with food. Listen, even if your appetite is being medically altered right now for you to lose weight, you still need to learn how to change your relationship with food when you stop taking the medicine. It's the exact strategies that I'm going to teach you that I teach my clients. And listen, when you learn them, you will see how it is possible that you can lose 10 pounds or more by the beginning of summer. Summer is quickly approaching and I don't want you to wait. I was going to wait and do this later in the season, but I was like, nope, they need to know it now. So I want you to save the date Wednesday, April 24th and go to jenniferdent.com forward slash free training to register. The link is also in the show notes. Now, right after the training, I will be opening up the doors to Stop Dieting Forever, which is my group weight loss program for the overweight and overstressed high achieving woman who wants to lose weight and keep it off without a diet and without the drama. And might I add without drugs? <laughs> I am offering not one, but two juicy bonuses when you decide to join Stop Dieting Forever right after this free training. Now, I know you want to get back to this episode. So go ahead, jump over to jenniferdent.com forward slash free training. And when you register, 
you'll see exactly what the bonuses are. You'll get the Zoom link to join us on Wednesday, April 24th. I can't wait to see you then. All right, let's get back into the episode. So you losing your first 10 pounds is like doing your first baby step, right? It's easier than you think, and it is highly motivating for you to go on to lose the rest. All right, you're like, okay, Jennifer, lost first 10 pounds, now what? Yeah, you may have more to lose. Some of you may, some of you may not, but most of you probably have more than 10 pounds to lose. In fact, the average weight that my clients come into my program with is that they want to lose about 32 pounds. That's the average pounds of weight that they want to lose. So we've started taking stats when people join Stop Dieting Forever. You complete an onboarding form. And when I look at the clients who have achieved their forever weight from the beginning, their average weight loss is about 30 pounds and they are able to lose that in six to seven months. It's nice that I can say this because we've been collecting the data and we have the statistics. So how would you like to be 30 pounds lighter in seven months? And listen, that's the average, right? So some people, it takes them less time. Some people, it takes them more time. It all depends. But the average weight loss from the data that we have is 30 pounds in six to seven months. So just ask yourself, hey, so how would I like to lose 30 pounds in six months. Like how would my life be different six months from now? I want you to think about that because it actually can happen for you. It can be your reality. And you will experience side effects like elation and more energy, body positivity. You will feel more confident and it shows. You'll have that inner glow because you're not only going to be smaller, but you're going to be more healthy. So here's the thing. Just like with Dave Ramsey's baby steps, right? You save your $1,000 and it's like, whoa, okay, now we got to focus on the debt, right? His baby step number two is paying off all of your debt using the debt snowball. All right, so back over to Stop Dieting Forever. When you lose your first 10 pounds, you're going to run into very common eating obstacles like uh, vacations, traveling for work, going through a stressful season at work, going through a stressful season at home, scaling your business. I mean, there's so many opportunities for emotional eaters to do what we do best, right? Is to emotionally eat. And just like going through the debt snowball process, if you do follow Dave Ramsey's process, you have to unlearn and learn again how to spend your money. You have to unlearn and learn again how to manage your money. Same thing that happens when it comes to your weight. So you're going to run into these eating obstacles. And at this point, your brain doesn't yet know how to navigate these waters because your old stress eating habits are going to come back hard, especially if you're going through a stressful season. And this is when you have to call in the National Guard. Actually, no, I'm just joking. (laughs) You don't have to call the National Guard, but I made that point because this is when you need to learn how to utilize more tools than what you had when you were losing your first 10 pounds. You've got to utilize more tools to help you develop a new mindset of health and wellness. You've got to be strategic when it comes up against those old eating habits. Same thing with spending, right? When you think about how you got into a lot of consumer debt because you were spending willy-nilly and doing all the things and you weren't tracking your money and figuring out, oh, I need to pay this off in this amount of time, right? Those were your old spending habits, your old patterns, your old ways of thinking. So in order for you to successfully pay off the debt, it's not just about putting numbers into a spreadsheet. You have to change your habits. You have to change the way that you're thinking. Same thing when it comes to weight loss, right? You are going to come up against not the spending triggers, but you're going to come up against the eating triggers. And so you've got to learn how to utilize these new tools to develop a new mindset of how to overcome these eating obstacles. And so the tools that you learn inside Stop Dieting Forever and where you're like your next baby step, right? I call this the lose phase. So losing your first 10 pounds is the learn phase because you're learning some new things. And then you move into lose 
And this is, again, the equivalent of Dave Ramsey's second baby step because his tool is the debt snowball, right? That's his tool of choice. In order for you to overcome your eating obstacles, you've got to learn the tools that I teach. And this is the phase where you will learn to lose the rest of your weight without a diet and no drama because we're working from the top down. We are changing your mindset. We're changing the way that you think. We're changing your habits. And so you, in return, are not emotionally eating. You're not falling into the same stress patterns of eating that you were following before, okay? And so you will follow this phase. You will follow and lose the rest of your weight when you use the 90-day planner, the 90-day daily planner, which you get when you join Stop Dieting Forever, because you're going to keep track of what you're doing. And so for those of you who love a good planner, for those of you who love a good process, and you're like, let me just do the things and check it off, you're going to love the planner because this is what you do every single day. There's something for you to do to help create that new mindset. And you also, inside Stop Dieting Forever, you're going to need your daily and weekly coaching. And this is for uh, you emotion-driven folks, right? Those of you who are not so process-oriented, you like to talk things through, you want to share your feelings and share your emotions and talk about what happened, coaching is for you. Now, you need both to be successful with weight loss. You need the process stuff. You need the planner. You need that. Okay, got to do this, got to do this, got to do this to give you that routine. And you also need the coaching to help like dig into your brain a little bit to really unroot and find the root cause of your current eating patterns and to be able to figure out, okay, this is why I'm eating so much. What do I do now? How do I replace this? How do I change this behavior? You need both to be successful. And that is what you get inside Stop Dieting Forever. Now, Dave has his seven steps to financial freedom. I got two. (laughs) I got two steps for you to get to your forever weight. Now, when you get to your forever weight, let me not forget to tell you about the final phase, which is live. L-I-V-E, live. This is when you reached your goal weight. And now you've got to train your brain to stop losing weight and learn how to maintain your weight. So this is a very interesting phenomenon. And this is, I think, one of the reasons why so many people will lose weight, they will get to their goal, and they don't know how to think. They're so used to always having to lose weight, they don't know what to do. And so they revert back to their old eating patterns and their old eating habits, and they gain the weight back. It's like a subconscious thing. It is because Your brain doesn't know how to exist at a healthy weight. And you've trained your brain to always be wanting to lose weight. And so when you get to your goal weight, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be like, oh my God, I don't know what to do right now. Your brain is going to like, we got to go find some weight to lose. It's totally subconscious, y'all. But your brain is wired in that way. And so it's really important for you to develop another mindset, another identity of the person who no longer struggles with their weight. I've seen this so many times with my clients, they'll lose the weight and then they start to gain it back. And they're like, well, I don't know, like, is this happening? And is this coming back? They'll gain like 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds back. And I'm like, your brain has never developed into the maintenance mode. And I don't even like to use the word maintenance, but y'all dieters, you know what I'm talking about when I say maintenance. You have not created the identity of someone who no longer struggles with their weight. You have not created the identity of the person who's just healthy, who just is active, who prefers to have lots of energy and feel really good in their body. Your brain is still Focus on, we got to lose some weight. We got to lose some weight to no fault of your own, right? It's just something you haven't been taught how to do. So when you get to your goal weight, we've got a special club for this group and it's called Club Lux. I want to tell you so much more about what your experience can be inside Stop Dieting Forever. But what I want you to do is register for the free training And during the free training, it's called three things 
that you can do to lose 10 or more pounds by summer. I'm going to teach you three of those eating strategies that you can begin to implement immediately. So you can get going on losing that first 10 pounds without a diet and without the drama. And during this free training, I'm going to show you how Stop Dieting Forever can help you lose the additional weight that you want to lose in six months and all the support that you get and all the things that you get when you join Stop Dieting Forever. All right, y'all. I thought it was very apropos to compare the Stop Dieting Forever process to Dave Ramsey's baby step process because I was on a call today and someone mentioned in the Zoom, in the chat, she said um, she had this big aha moment and it was a call about finances. And she was like, oh my goodness, my relationship with money is almost the same as my relationship with food and my body. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, it is. So go to jenniferdent.com forward slash free training to get signed up. I want to see you on April 24th. All right, y'all, live Lux, and I will see you in the next episode. Hey, 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 before you go, I've got one more thing for you. If you are ready to put the Stop Dieting Forever process into practice to elevate your physical and emotional health, I've got just the thing. It's called my Forever Well Email Club. It is 100% free and it is available for you to join right now when you go to jenniferdent.com forward slash email club. Picture this exclusive doses of actionable advice and real talk guidance to get you motivated, all delivered straight to your inbox. Quit being inconsistent, stop feeling run down and start to feel well. You want to achieve your forever weight? Well, this is where you begin. I'm telling you, when you start implementing what I'm teaching, people will not only notice your smaller size, but they will notice that you've got that healthy glow. Head on over to jenniferdent.com forward slash email club to sign up for free today. That's jenniferdent.com forward slash email club to get started. All right, y'all, until next time, live Lux.